My four awards are Spondeo, Spondere, Spipondi, and Sponsus. The Spondere is the infinitive, and I removed ERE. And Sponsus is a supine, and I removed US. And then I got twi the twin bases, S-P-O-N-D and S-P-O-N-S, possible E. And then the words for S-P-O-N-D is transponder, despondent, despondence, respond, correspond, and despondency. For S-P-O-N-S, possible E, the words are sponsor, response, responsible, and irrespons irresponsible. They mean to give assurance or promise solemnly. And then there is a story for this one and a story for that one. Go ahead and read them. Okay. For S-P-O-N-S-E is, today I got sponsored by someone for being a responsible person, but my response to my sponsor was supposedly irresponsible according to my sponsor. <laughs> so now I think I should work on my response to a sponsor. And then for S-P-O-N-D, have once I responded to a despondent woman who had two transponders that correspond. She was very fixated on saying despondent. What does respond have to do with you know, Well, you're telling someone something, so you're assuring them you're going to do something. How come only one of them has the possible lead? Well, S-P-O-N-D isn't a one 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 word. It doesn't end in S, so it doesn't have one. And the reason why S P O N S, well, possible E, or well, has a possible E, is because if it ends in S, it's plural, and since it's not plural, it has to end in E. Excellent. That's one of the another one of the jobs of the final non-syllabic E. How have you ever used the word sponsor? How do you know that to be used? Emma? Um, like when somebody is sponsoring someone, like if Target was sponsoring a TV show. Okay. Like at the end, it says this show is brought to you by Target. Okay. What, what do you suppose that means when Target sponsors a TV show? They're paying them to get views, like to go there. Yeah, they're giving them money. And then in return, the TV show is advertising Target. But they need money to make these TV shows go. So that's how they get a sponsor. Excellent. Where else do we see sponsors? Gunner? For me showing pigs, I have to have a sponsor if I want to sell my pigs. Okay, for 4 H? Yeah. Very good. Okay, so my Latin verbs are frigo, frigere, frigi, and factus. Uh, my infinitive is frigere, you remove the ere, and my supine is factus, you remove the us, and you get with you get f r a n g and f r a c t. They're twin bases. They need to break. And the words I found for F-R-A-C-T were fractured, which means to break or crack a bone, refractured, um, to bend, the bending of a light wave, and then infractured, to break the rule, breaking the rule, fractured, a number written in a form A-B where B doesn't equal zero. Um, for F R A N G, I got fragmentable, which means couple of being broken. Capable. Capable of being broken. Refragmentable to bend light, and infragmentable not able to be broken. Probably frangible. Frangible. Mm -hmm. What is a fraction? Um, part of a whole. Like a number that's part of a whole? Exactly. So it's being broken into, yeah, into parts, right, into pieces. When a whole object is broken into pieces. And it's yeah. how we describe one or more pieces of the whole. What word could she add? Fractal. Fractal. Um, 